all started with this text message. Drive your car truck with our small sticker and get paid $600 weekly from Zipcar. Sounds pretty good, right? Frank McMillan thought so. Five, $600 a week for a few weeks. Christmas money, things of that nature, bill money, whatever the case may be. Then he started digging a little deeper. And once I checked it out, it went to a website, which is not active anymore. He quickly realized it was a scam, but wanted to see just how far scammers would go for his money. So he played along. This is the very first email that I received right here. Not long after, a cashier's check for $2,980 came in the mail. Jamie Howell with the Better Business Bureau explains what usually happens next. That the victim deposits this check and then the check comes back as fraud. Usually the bank will say, um, this check was fraud. Now you're liable to cover these damages. Frank didn't cash the check because he spotted the scam, but Howell says others locally haven't been so lucky. Some people that we've got reports from didn't lose any money. Others have lost upwards of three to $4,000 because of the false money and bounced check fees in their own account. We tried to call the number that was texting Frank, claiming to be a Zipcar employee, but were directed here instead. Thank you for calling OC Multiservicing. Point blank period, scammers are getting smarter. Just as we're getting smarter to the scams, the scammers always find a way to upgrade themselves. Like what happened here, operating under the guise of real companies and real credit unions. The best thing you can do to protect yourself is to ignore any texts, calls, or emails that seem too good to be true. Frank says, I keep saying due diligence because if you don't, if you don't act on it, it's not going to bite you. In Norfolk, Erin Miller, News.